Hello and welcome! I'm Geralt and this is Tutorial 7 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today's topic, Maintenance. If you want to see the previous tutorials, there is a playlist and the link is in the description of the video. And now, let's start comrades! Welcome comrade to the maintenance tutorial. First, let's open the construction office window and modify the maintenance settings. We want to enable automatic building reconstruction and set the threshold to 60%. This means the construction office will initiate reconstruction when a building's wear and tear exceeds 60%. During reconstruction, the building will remain partially functional. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So, let's click. Reconstruction. Okay, so when you click this, I guess... Enables reconstruction of buildings. Manually initiate machine replacement in the distillery. Alternatively, you can manually trigger a reconstruction. Open the distillery window and click on the Replace Machines option. This will initiate the reconstruction process. Please note that the building will be non-functional during machine replacement. Well, that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Okay. Clicking. Building maintenance. So the wear and tear is already at 50%. The machines 47. The productivity is 100%. The efficiency 88. So I guess the efficiency is lower because of the wear and tear. Replace machines. Needed resources. 13 work days. A lot of steel. Mechanic components. And some electronic components. Start reconstruction. So you have two buttons here. One to reconstruct the building itself and another one for the machine. I guess that exists only for factories. I imagine that residential buildings can only be reconstructed. They don't have machines, right? So let's do that. Excellent! Lenin would be proud. Fund machine replacement in the distillery. As we cannot afford any disruptions of alcohol production, Let's expedite the process by funding the machinery replacement. Click on the robo icon to cover the costs. Similar to construction, you will need to pay for the materials, their delivery and the labor involved. But well, that's not very expensive. Open construction window. What happens if we do this? Aha, so there is a window for the reconstruction itself. Awesome stuff. We can change the priority here. And also pay with everything. What happens if I click this button? Ah, it's the same button. Yeah. Good work, comrade. Alright. Build a vehicle repair station. Now let's explore how vehicles are repaired. Construct a vehicle repair station in a suitable location. I will, comrade. Okay, so we have a maintenance section here in the road vehicles tab. We have a building that is disabled because we don't have the seasons and a vehicle repair station medium here. Small, medium, large. Okay, that's very cool. We have... That's... Oh, the large one is very large. The medium one is nice and the small one is small. Uh, why I cannot... Wait, what's happening here now? I cannot... Alright. Uh, I had button problems. <laughs> Purchase the resources required for repairs. To repair vehicles, we need resources. The workers will be delivered by the train. Well, that makes a lot of sense, of course. Let's close this. Which train? Aha, this train. These workers come from where? From here, from the residential area. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That's a lot of workers. Okay. Okay, so we have a repair station here. Current number of workers, maximum 15. Can we? No, we cannot increase more. We can have some vehicles. Allow the repair cancel when long idle. Interesting. 
Allow repair in building. Vehicles online. Okay. Office working range. We can increase, I guess, when they... From where they take their uh, workers, I imagine. Max number of workers. One. Maximum. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can also control how many people work on the vehicle. You can apparently do all the... Oh, and you can also select what to repair, what not to repair. That's pretty cool. I guess that's the vehicles that are going to be added here. And this is the materials for the repair. And you have to... You have a warehouse and an open storage. Let's see. Um, okay, I don't see where they are, but... Maybe... They're inside. And the building... That building as well has maintenance, of course. Okay, let's buy. Plastics, electronics, mechanical components, fabric, everything. Some steel, some aluminium. And we are going to auto-purchase all of this. You're doing great. I am. Adjust the wear and tear threshold for vehicle repairs. Open the window of a covered truck vehicle and decrease the threshold value for repair. Currently it is set at 90%, meaning the vehicle will be sent for repairs when its wear and tear exceeds 90%. Let's set it to 50%. Vehicles assigned to specific lines will automatically visit the repair station once their wear and tear reaches the specified threshold. So I guess what this means is you can do it manually per vehicle and you can also do it per line. Aha, uh -huh. so this is set at what level of where the vehicle will allow service and repairs. So this is the um, percentage of basically how destroyed the vehicle is. Which is counterintuitive, I guess. I would have done it the other way. It's more like the percentage, the opposite percentage. But they did what they wanted. So let's lower it to what? 50%. So now the wear and tear is currently 70% and it's heading for the repair station to be repaired. All right, awesome. This one is coming. Workers, zero out of five. And it tells you how much... Oh, 1.3 tons of steel. Wow. All right. Manually send the vehicle to the repair station. Open the window of a second truck vehicle and manually send it to the repair station. You can manually send any vehicles for repairs. Aha, so you can automatically click this. Go and repair now. Don't even wait for your wear and tear to reach the repair percentage here. We are doing great. Purchase a covered hull truck for the repair station. However, Vehicles assigned to specific workplaces, such as construction or distribution offices, need to be repaired at their respective workplaces. For this purpose, we need a covered hull truck assigned to work at the repair station. These trucks will visit the designated workplaces to repair vehicles. Helicopters at hospitals or fire stations are also repaired in a similar manner. Aha! So we can buy uh, a truck which is going to go and repair them in the place of their work. That's uh, good to know. Build the repair shop near the train depot. You may have noticed that repair stations do not have rail trucks. R repair station? Uh -huh. However, we can construct a repair shop near the train depot. When replacing, when placing the building, if the depot is highlighted in orange, it will serve as a repair point. Ah, interesting. Okay. Um... Cool stuff, I guess. I don't know why they decided to do it like that, but sure. Oops. So that's the depot here. Okay. And here in the maintenance, we have also... Ah, it's the, the same repair stations from before. But if it's highlighted, that means it's going to work. Okay. Um... Uh, there we go. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Purchase resources for the repair station. Once again, purchase the necessary resources so that we can repair trains. Well, we have to repeat. Oops. Too many clicks. Uh... 
perfect work. I guess you will have to deliver all of this if you don't buy it. Build the repair shop near the ship dock and harbor. So I guess it's going to work the same way. The same principle applies to ships. They can be repaired at the docks or while they are in the harbor. Good stuff. Purchase resources for the repair station. Well, yep, just rinse and repeat. Good work, comrade. Build the repair shop near the airplane parking and terminal. Lastly, airplanes are repaired in a similar manner. When a repair station is built near an airplane parking area or terminal, planes will be taken there for repairs. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, this one this time, I guess. Excellent! Lenin would be proud. And we have to purchase the resources, of course, as usual. Good work, comrade. Replace old vehicles. If your vehicles have become too old and repairing them is not cost effective, you can easily replace them. In the construction office, select the old excavator, click on the replace vehicle icon and choose the depot as the replacement destination. The old vehicle will be replaced with a newly purchased one. Uh... I thought I clicked on it. This guy? Ah, this guy. It's not the same? Yes, okay. Replace vehicle. What I have to click now? I have to click the replacement destination. So it got teleported here and now is going to the construction of... Ah, no! Uh, that's the new one. Yeah. Wear and tear 0%. Awesome. Aha. Uh -huh. So you basically magically replaced it. Okay. All right. Open the automatic replacement tab. Click on the left panel and open the tab for automatic replacement. On this screen, you will find a breakdown. Let's click it. Oh, My tutorial was... Uh, I should not have done that. should have read all the text. Okay, replace the Stalinate bulldozer. So let's see what we can do here. Sort by vehicle. And here we can... 16 years. Aha, uh -huh. H. We have, what, four of those? One of those. Replace oldest vehicle. Ah, so you can mass replace here. Yeah, that's super cool. No vehicle in storage. No vehicle in storage. Zero years. 17 years. Replacement conditions. From depot. From vehicle storage. Purchase new. Okay, you have so many options here. Replace the Stalinets bulldozer. Even without automatic replacement enabled, you can still replace the oldest vehicle manually. Set the replacement type of the Stalinets bulldozer with the KT-50 bulldozer, as we have those available in the storage. You can identify the icon when selecting the replacement type. Okay. Then click on the double arrow button. Replace the oldest Stalinets bulldozer with the KT-50. Select type of vehicle for replacement. Aha, uh -huh, so here you select what to replace it with. Aha, so you kind of... You can change... Is that per vehicle or is for type of vehicle? Interesting. Replace all this vehicle. Okay, that makes sense. So here you can change the type of replacements uh, for vehicles. That's all for this tutorial. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So you can decide to change it to a new type or keep the same type. Nice. That's uh, very good to see. That's going to help with managing things when you have plenty of um, vehicles around. Alright, so 
we learn how to maintain things. I don't find it very difficult. Makes a lot of sense. I wish they had a maintenance uh, depot for rails and maybe a different building for the ships. But I guess this also makes sense how they did it. Alright. This is the end of this tutorial. If you found the video helpful, help others find it by liking the video. Also, use the comment section to ask any questions or share what's on your mind. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. More tutorials and playthroughs are coming. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.